Hey there, I'm Arthur with Innovative Journaling, and in this video, we're going to show you how we set our durable snaps. So let's get going and we'll show you. Okay, here we are. So there's a couple sizes of durable snaps we have, and let's look down at our table here and I'll show you. Um, we're going to set one of them into, into here, but um, we have there's line 24, which is this size, and there's line 20, which is that size. And you can see the 20 is a little bit smaller. These are both have an antique brass uh, finish on them. Okay, so we're going to set the line 24. And to do that, we use all these tools here. These go in our die setter. Now, you can get hand tools, but we don't use hand tools. We use stuff for our machines. So this is for the button. The button fits nicely and tightly right in there. And then this one is for the, um, oops, this one is for the socket part. And that's what goes into the button like that. So we use these two together. And then, then you have the eyelet here. And that just sits at the bottom. And it goes right into there just to line things up. And then this stud part, this is the stud, and that fits right in there. Bam, and it just stays in there like that when it's upside down and those two fit together like this right there okay um, so let's go over to the um, oh one other thing um, so what we do is to set them accurately we have three these are these punches are all all you can you can swap out the bits in them, but we keep them the same pretty much we have our small and medium and our large and that's just what we call them we have a lot of other punches that are bigger than this but these are our primary ones and for this we use the medium punch so i'm just going to poke a hole over here and that's where we'll set our um, button and socket and then let's me do this here i'm going to poke a hole over here and that is where we'll set the eyelet and the stud all right, so let's go over to our setting machine and we'll pop these in there and I'll uh, show you how that works. Okay, so here we are at our uh, snap setting machine and this does all kinds of stuff. It just doesn't set snaps. It does all kinds of stuff and we're gonna show you that in other demos. But for now, um, let's set the, uh, the button first. So here there's a little, this is the anvil for the bottom. You put that in there and then at the top, we just screw this in right there. So we got our two dies in there this is going to just pop right up in there. Oh, there it goes. It's staying. We're going to take this and push it through the leather right there. And uh, then we want to keep our fingers out of the way. And then we have a little kick thing down here. And that's it. All set nice and tightly. Let's put it on the other side now. For that, we use a different set of, of, of dies. So here is the anvil part, and uh, here is the top part for the stud. And we're going to go ahead and put the stud in there. And then this part will also go in the leather. we got to put it right here, because we want to make sure we put it on the right side, so when we snap this together, it's going to be, be correct. So, And then there's a little... Um, button that comes up there and goes right in the center of this hole so that lines up everything and then we just kick that and that's all on there nice and tight so we've set our snaps and that's it so let's do one more thing let's take this um this part and we're going to put both pieces on there and i'm just going to take a piece of scrap leather here and i'm going to not even going to punch the hole. I'm going to put it through. So one of the nice things about the tools we use is you can do stuff like this. And you can see the piece of leather is right there that we punched out. It's all in there. We didn't even have to punch it. But the punching is more accurate, so that's what we do. And that's how we set our durable snaps. See you in the next video. Bye.